baseball, hockey, football. I basically like every sport. He's a super athletic kid. Um, he plays hockey, plays lacrosse, he plays baseball. He's a great athlete. Um, he's super smart. He's just a happy, very simple kid, enjoys the simple things in life. Kyle, he plays hockey. He was a hockey player and his back started hurting quite a bit. We had taken him to be examined twice, um, one time at the emergency room for an x-ray. Um, and they kept sending him out saying it was a muscle spasm. It was mother's intuition that I knew that there was something more going on. They did the blood work and um, it came, they sent us into Children's Hospital. Kyle was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, also known as ALL, on October 25th of this year. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was horrifying. But uh, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Kyle's a very st strong kid. He's a special kid. Um, he didn't really have much of a reaction to it. Kyle's a, a hockey player, and the Boston Bruins came in on Halloween, dressed up as Ninja Turtles, and they had brought him a bag. And in the bag was um, a shirt that said, Hockey Fights Cancer. It, it's, I remember it was like pink. It had pink um, letters and um, it was like a gray shirt. And I remember that he looked at me and said, Mom, did that shirt say cancer on it? And he was only there for a little over 24 hours at that point. So I said, yes, it did. And I think that's when it hit him. It turned from you know, us being kind of maybe, so to speak, scared of it, to let's get this, let's take it and go head on. And um, that's, that's the type of kid Kyle is anyways. He's, uh, he's just a very tough kid and he was, uh, you know, he was up for the challenge. Kyle was allergic to one of the chemos, so he had to have um, treatments in the clinic twice a week, which involved the shots. I mostly go in there to get um, two shots into my legs. Um, they hurt at first, but now I'm kind of used to them. Early on in his treatment, he was very, very, he couldn't do anything. He missed out on a ton of stuff. Um, but since we've been over to the Jimmy Fund, he seems to be getting more and more energy, more and more energetic. I mean, the distractions, the events, Kyle actually somewhat looks forward to going in there. Kyle has attended a lot of Red Sox games. Um, some have been in manager's boxes. Um, he did Fantasy Fenway Day where he was able to hit right in the diamond and he um, threw out the first pitch set Saturday, June 24th. And I walk up to the mound with um, one of the ball girls, I think, and, um, and then I threw the pitch. It bounced straight at the plate. That's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Not every kid is able to do that. So, you know, when you have to go through this journey with your child, um, to be able to do special things like that makes all the difference. It, it's just the fact that the Jimmy Fund is in there, uh, the way they make you feel, just overall what they've done for us, I, words can't even explain it. We were never the type of family that ever really looked at something like childhood cancer and believed it could happen to us. So every time we get that letter in the mail now, we make sure we donate. And once Kyle gets through this, this journey, we will continue to donate and do something extra as well. Um, we are so grateful for the Jimmy Fund because it saved our child's life.